Trevor Epstein, and here we are with your morning flash update. And this is for Wednesday, and we're at the 19th of April, 2023. Well, as you can see, you're starting off on a negative uh, footing in the stock market. We're looking at the gold, which was down a lot more than this. It got down at near $40. Silver was down. If you take a look, it's a bounce off the low of nearly 50 cents. It was down almost a dollar an ounce. The copper market down 380. So what's going on? Well, the dollar was a lot stronger earlier. It has since given that up. The question is where we headed for the dollar and other markets. Energy prices down rather hard today, down to $79 a barrel in the crude. So things rolling over. And the one thing that isn't rolling, the market is starting to get more enamored with the idea that yes, the Fed is going a quarter point hike in May. And the, uh, the idea of June, very much wide open. Why? Well, let's take a look at a few things right now. When we take a look first at the mortgage market headline, you can see all the categories saw a pretty good decline, 8.8% in the index itself, the uh, purchase index down 10%. And as we take a look at the uh, mortgage refi index, that was down 5.8%. We get the Fed beige book today. Treasury Secretary Yellen will do her usual Biden bidding today uh, at the John Hopkins. She's going to talk on uh, healthy competition and cooperation when possible with national interest. A lot of this on China, of course. Federal Reserve Bank of uh, Chicago's Mr. Goolsby and New York Fed President Williams both speak today. And UK inflation. This is why I think the market is a little concerned. The office there for their national statistics, yes, you dropped to 10.1 from 10.4 in the headline, but the core inflation, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, that stayed at the 6.2% rise. So it's not only there, it is everywhere that we're starting to see that this core inflation number, when you strip out some of the volatility in the U.S., we do it in energy especially, uh, where does it leave you? It leaves you with the basics are there. It, it's sort of like the employment number. You're hearing again that Facebook is going to lay off another round, Meta, the other people are doing more and more parts. But where is the cuts? Where are they coming? They're not coming from manufacturing industry per se. They're coming from the tech. Where are they still hiring? the service industry. So you lose with one hand, you gain with the other, and yes, the overall pressure might be to take some of the uh, jobs out of the market, but not a lot. That is the point that I'm saying, and that adds to the stickiness of the inflation, and you're not out of that by a long shot. So I know the naysayers want to say it's one and done. I don't know. I'll, I'll have a lot more to say as we get in and see after the May numbers, we'll have the May data. We'll see that, and that's when we can make up our mind for the June FOMC meeting, is it another one of those? But if inflation stays sticky, if shelter costs stay up, no, I'm not in the camp that the Fed is ready to stop just yet. But I talk about this each morning with you, and sometimes there's nothing to talk about. I gotta tell you, not every day is there a trade setup. But when they come, the point is entry, exit, what's causing the setup, where would the stop be, how much approximate risk is involved in it, is it based off of a chart pattern, is it based off momentum, where is it carrying you? Each day, Monday through Friday, we start off about 5.15 in the morning, I record one of these for you. I'll talk about Asia, I'll talk about Europe, what's going on, what's the market movers of the day. We're gonna talk about swing trades that can last a week, two weeks, and longer term trades, both. How do you get this? It's simple. If you're watching me on YouTube, you see a join button, give it a click and it explains everything there. If you're watching another way and you look at the video up here, move your cursor to the top, there'll be a cursor. The, uh, you'll see an icon, give it a click, it'll take you right to the area. You can also go to our website under the word research, everything's explained there. I'm I. Rapstein, good to see you. I will see you at the end of the day with the market wrap up. Trade well.